Is there any yellow mist? So it's not that guy. He didn't say anything about He's yellow mist. He's drama queen, the skilled sorcerer of ambidextrous Grim. bisexuals. Grim, as you start oh to see a figure uh, in robes with a uh, or a staffed or, or sorry, a orb staff staff orb orb on a staff. Storm. Wow. Jesus. Um, you can kind of see him coming, orb staff. Down, coming down from this direction with your ever bright light. You can easily see that this figure is coming and he's just laughing and he is, he is uh with the staff on his back and now he's just clapping and says it's about time you guys show up although i really just want the one around the corner i point the light directly in his eyes as much as possible <laughs> seemingly has no effect on that very bright. And all of a sudden, he kind of like takes the orb off of his or the staff off of his back and hits the ground, and all the windows fly open uh, that are here. So like pretty much one every other, every three or four uh, tokens starting like at the corner. So like every four, there's like a window, and they all fly open. I'm invisible right now, currently. Yep. I would like to go past Grim in my invisibility. And go right up to this drag queen and go, I know you can see me. I'm You're taking right. a shot in the dark. And I'm taking a shot in the dark with this one. I know you can see me. And I know what you're here to do. I'm also taking a shot in the dark on that one. And I'm going to get right up to him. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go, can't this be a little more peaceful? And then I'm going to let go of my fireball. Do it like, out. like not cast it, but let go or shoot it at him. What do you mean by that? You're going to shoot it, right? Right. And, and yep. Yes. Do it. That's a deck save of 15. Uh -huh. Point blank. And I get hit also. This is quite the plan that you have here. Grim T is all that happening and it's just like... They train us not to do that kind of strategy ever at the academy, and even that's like basic training first day stuff. Don't hurt yourself. I, for him. I I failed my mine, so he gets eleven, and I get twenty two. Now, how big is this fireball again? Because this is large. This fireball, this specific fireball. Is it gonna um, it's ba -ba 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 -ba. twenty foot. 20 foot on you? On me. Okay, so... Well, technically I'm the guy, so I shot it at him. We're going to call it all... We're going to call it on you, because that makes... Because you guys are... You want to imagine destroy you walk arrow. right up to him, and for canonically, you're in his same space. Um, hold on a sec, i got to do something. Show. Do it. Show, 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 show. Oh, boy. Okay, so... 5, 10, 15... Nope, I want orange, not black. 5, 10, 15, 20... Isn't <laughs> that a cube? Yeah. Or is it like... Oops. My fireball? Is Yeah, isn't fireball? Fireball. It is a... Pretty sure it's a radius. Sphere. It's yeah. a radial sphere. Okay. So your echo does get hit, Grim, with this fireball. Alright, does it make a dex save or no? I'm gonna with this high high of a fireball, Rom just obliterates the echo. Well yeah, if it's a save thing that and then half damage anyway, it only has one hit point. Yep. So Three all of a saves, sudden right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll I'll set it up for you because this is this'll be fun. Unless you wanna describe it all, Peter. I would love for you to do that as well. No no, go for it. Go for it. Right, I'm so, resistant to fire. So you guys watch as he enters the door, laughing, and says he wants the one around the corner and kind of points around the corner. Vilgax, you really don't have line of sight on him yet, but you hear the voice and you know it's exactly him. And Grim, you step up, move your echo up, and then all of a sudden, on his point, a massive explosion of fire. Vilgax, you were able to see uh, 
incorporeally or what, like within the because you can see invisibility, mm -hmm. right? The true sight. So you do yep. see like Rom kind of walk like up towards that way, and then all of a sudden you hear a big <laughs> explosion of fire, and Grim, you watch as an explosion of fire in Yoro as an explosion of fire with on seemingly out of nowhere on uh, this uh, humanoid's center. Um, explode your echo just gets engulfed in flames and this entire area now uh, where this circle at is essentially on fire uh, within this building and like i feel like as i saw rom like moving up here like mm -hmm. invisible style like i'm assuming he looks like shimmery predator cloaky to me or something yeah so like, i can tell like he's invisible kind of thing yep, yep. i would just like circle out so i could like see what Ram was doing. And as that happened, you circled no. out, all of a sudden you just, you see a explosion of fire from his back, like on the center of both of them. And this entire uh, circle now, oh, I want to. So are these buildings wood? And oh yeah. They're wood, how much on fire are they? They are currently very on fire within this circle. So like everything is engulfed in flames that's within this circle right now. Gotcha. And then, like, as I see, like, the fire go off... I will I try... give everybody one move to do as they see the fire. So, okay. go ahead, next. So then, as soon as that goes, like, I had my bow ready. I'm gonna try and just, like, whip an attack, like, right at him as well. Oops, that's move my character, not what I wanted. <laughs> so as the fire e explodes... Now you are shooting kind of into fire. Give me a give me a attack roll at a disadvantage as the flames instantly basically engulf uh, this entire section. So you're kind of shooting blindly, but I'll give it. You kind of know exactly where he was, but do it at a disadvantage. Do I have like neutral because I had advantage from like perfect stealth roll? Yes. So give me a neutral. Okay. That seems fair. All right. That's so I'm I'm gonna try this, but I don't know if it's gonna calculate right with the weird variables that I have. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see what it comes up with and says. So that rolled 20 plus. Okay, yeah, so that rolled right, so it's a 10 to hit on the first that attack. misses on the attack. All right, and then I'll do just my regular second attack because it's like a pew pew. Okay, like are you whenever. running your, uh, your arm blade or are you doing- Oh shit, I, I hit the, clicked the wrong one, didn't I? Yep, so enjoy that again. Maybe it'll hit this time. My bad. You're good. So a 13 to hit is what the bow was. That one misses. So you go ahead and notch your uh, second one really quick. And then... 21. That one misses. Also miss? All right. So from the two arrows, you... You don't hear you're well enough with a bow at this point. You kind of know if your arrows kind of hit. Uh, it doesn't seem like they hit at all as they go through the fire. All right. So I... Disappoint. Have... <laughs> and by the way, Rom, that was your move, so I'm giving everybody else one move before we start this. So that would be like a bonus action, an action, or a physical move? Um, one of the three? One of the three. All right. Well, then I'm going to resummon my echo. Okay. Your echo is summoned next to you. So like if it moves in the circle where it's fiery, is this like damage fire or like flavor fire? Okay. We'll <laughs> the building is currently on fire. So the buildings are on fire, but I mean, this is dirt in this area. So like- I mean, the ground is dirt, but all of the, yeah, the, the like you, essentially like you, you know, the rooms up, it's like the walls in this area right now are on fire. Um, sorry, I should, yeah, we'll, we'll redraw it. Well, it'll probably take a minute or two before there's any structural damage strong enough to actually make the buildings collapse. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, why did that not clear shit? You guys still see all the drawings? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Roll 20 is being spicy today. Sure is. <laughs> also, do you normally play as the player cam DM or as the other one? 
I do this one for like the actual camera. So I have two up, so I know like I can make changes on one, and I can actually see what you guys see on the other. All right. Um. Okay, drawings are gone. So, uh, draw new circle. Orange. So, yes. So, like all of this is nope. I don't want shapes. Well, I guess we'll do shapes. So all of these walls are on fire currently. There is like fire simmering like on the ground because it was a very powerful as it, it like shot up. But as time goes on, like the circle itself is kind of diminishing a little bit, but there is still some there on the ground. You can kind of like, it's very smoky where this red is as far as mm -hmm. like fire goes um, with like little flames here and there. But where the orange is that those walls are definitely on fire currently. And they're kind of like, protruding out from the wall so you guys are kind of like right outside of this um fire smoke wall of circle bullshit that rom decided to do so i need something cooler than forest night and uh sorry grim you summoned your echo I guess it can be there. Oh. Oh, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I can drag circles. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh, what the hell? Oops. Select. Okay. Pasted it on the wrong sheet. My bad, my bad. You summon your echo and Yoder, what are you doing at that very that second? Was, he... Oh, I, he moved up closer to the rest of the party. Right there. Right. So there, 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 and there. You guys see a bunch of fire in front of you. Uh and everybody roll initiative for me all right i'll try try your hardest oh sweet that's fucking great nine not quite as bad but still pretty bad Oh, I gotta set up my token for the thing. Oh, that breaks every time we change maps. That's dumb. What's that? The oh, turn I tracker have... thing for Beyond 20. Oh, it might. Alright, I'm not gonna bother then. <laughs> That's too much of a pain in the ass. You're lucky, Rom. You are very lucky. Uh, Yoder, what was your initiative? Because you didn't get a plus on anything that I saw. Oh, he has a plus zero to his initiative. Oh, okay. So, what was it? 11. 11? 11? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do this. Get back into it. All right. So, Rom, you walked up to this being. You started talking to him. Literally, he was just kind of like smiling at you the entire time while you, this happened. Uh, you had a fireball in your hand. Um, you do have to use a spell slot for that, right? So go ahead and use that. And you, as soon as you walked up, you just like released a huge-ass fireball, taking out uh, the Echo, uh, which... Graham kind of like was like, what the fuck, and then brought back. Um, you all kind of moved up to the edge of this burning, uh, between the burning walls and all the smoke and all the fire. It's kind of hard to see. Um, right now, you can kind of maybe maybe pick out like Rom's back with between the smoke and the fire, but it's really hard to see. Um, and you released a fireball and did that. How much damage was he supposed to get? Peter? 11, I think it was, and he got 22. Hey, Olav, thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, crap. Well, let me do that. Bum, bum, bum. Peter, what did your fireball do for damage? What? Oh, what did your fireball do for damage? 22? 22. Okay, perfect. Um, Sorry, I had to go get some tasers. Nope, you're good. I forgot to roll four. That's Damn, you got like a five second lag on your audio there, Peter. Seven plus. I said, Peter, you have like a three to five second lag on your audio. 
Uh, K K K K K K K K K K Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, K um, is maximum number is two. Uh, well, I did a bunch. So, Rom, you did that. You like released your fireball. God dang it! What the hell? And um, sure. all of a sudden, so as soon as you released it, uh, it hit, and um, now in front of you, uh, you around you, there is fire, there is smoke, there is chaos that you just unleashed. Um, however, however, you all got to move prior, so... Uh, now in front of you, you don't see, essentially you hit your fireball, it kind of blew up, fire everywhere, surrounding you is fire and smoke and, and all of this. Uh, there will be some mechanics for fire that I'm going to make up on the fly, which is going to be really fun and cool, um, but it's your turn. You like don't fire? See in front of you. Fire is hot. <laughs> the circle that you currently see is like hot, hot. <laughs> so it's filled with smoke and fire around you within that red circle that you see currently. And but you don't see this person that was in front of you. They were not there anymore. So what are you doing? I'm going to use my bonus action to misty step. Okay. Do right here. I'll refresh. I don't know if it's on my side or not. It'd like move like freeze for like a second, like move like freeze for a second. Is that happening for anybody else? No. Because like I had been seeing Peter or hearing Peter like five seconds after I saw him talk. Now nah, let's also refresh quick. Peter, you misty stepped out of this oh, ring. Oh, just for warning, fire. I'm a little drunk, so. Cool. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's the best. You. That's the best kind. Oh, and he's gone. Why is Rom drunk? Because that flask and that he has. And he's back. Oh, yeah. The flask is the best. I should have. You know what I should have <laughs> done? Wait, you just. Illyria destroyed her flask, didn't she, back in the day? She sure did in that, like, lava yeah. pool thing. That's right. I yeah, thought that, that was a big open. move for her. <laughs> I thought about having, I was literally going through all your guys' character sheets, like, what can I just grab that, like, doesn't mean that much that I can just see that's broken, like, in front of this fucking building. I was like, wait, she doesn't have the flask anymore. Shit. No, that was and great. I, I loved when Spartal just started drinking out of the flask, thinking it was, like, just a regular flask. Yeah, Jemima! <laughs> Good times. Uh, uh. Yeah, so, Rom, you missy steps. All of a sudden, you guys see a flash of Rom pop up next to you, Yoder, and front of next to all you guys. Um, what else you got, Rom? I'm going to turn around and be like... Having fun there, Rom? You know what, guys? <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> and that'll, I will place my trap card face down and end my turn. Awesome. <laughs> so, what do we have here? How many of these do I have? Nope, none. Um... These motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that does that. Ket. Uh, Ket, Ket, Ket. Ket in all her glory. Um, is going to... Is going to... Going to, going to, going to, going to... Going Be to. super cool. And one-shot him. <laughs> Sweet encounter. <laughs> uh, I had a party, like, do that once. Because we played with super crits. So, like, if you rolled a crit, right, you could roll your two hit again. And if you got whatever your crit range was, because, like, certain classes, like, you crit on, like, 18, 19 eventually and stuff. Yeah. If you if you rolled crits, you could keep rolling crits to see, like, how many you could stack up for, like, we call it super crit. <laughs> they rolled, like, four crits in a row and, like, one shot this, like, boss character. <laughs> I was like... Well, I didn't want to, like, fudge the numbers that hard. Like, oh, yeah, you just hit him for, like, 187 at, like, level 3. Uh, he's fine. Nice. <laughs> but he did explode uh... upon death <laughs> because of that. Uh, you put a lot oh, of energy this... into him. Oh, this isn't a continuous spell, is it? Dang. I thought Spirit Guardians would be, was continuous. It is not. Uh, well... 
Yeah, she's just going to, um, going to, wow, she's going to uh, reach forward, uh, where the hell is she, actually, oh yeah, she's way back here, uh, she moved up, she got her movement and moved up with you guys uh, at that point, so she's going to go 5, 10, 15, trying to go around the corner, and touch Rama on the shoulder, and just say, that was very stupid, but we're here for you I, now. And cast, I, guidance, and cast guidance on you. I got damage. I think. So you have Grimm a... Just starts a, laughing. You have a d4 you can add to your next roll, ability check, or roll, whatever. Yeah, sweet. And uh, that's basically what she's going to do, because she can't do much until she sees somebody... I think she has that, apparently. Nope, can't do that yet. Uh, nope, can't do that yet. And... Nope, can't do that yet. Okay, uh, yeah, that's it. So then, Yoder, you're up with... Okay. Yoder, what, what, is the, what is the initiative order, just overall, quick? Uh, Rom, Ket... Yoder, Grim, you. Figured I was last. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Rom, did you get hurt? I forget. Oh, he's oh, not yeah, here. He I, I think Rom, he took some Rom damage. Did get hurt, yeah. He took like okay. twenty-two damage, if I remember right. So. All right. Uh, he's fire resistant. He still took twenty-two, and the other guy took eleven. Oh, is he 20 years resistant? So then he would have taken... He said he was fire resistant was... after, but I don't know. But 22 like... would have halved... Resistance is half too, right? Yep, normally. Yeah, so he would okay. Cheater's muted, but talking. I was talking to someone else, Grim. How much, oh, how much damage did you take on your fireball, Peter? 11? You did take 22? Are was you your fire resist? You resisted to zero? I'm I don't have fire resistance. Oh, I thought you did. No, May said he wished he had fire okay. resist. Okay, so, uh, yes, Yoder. So Rami is kind of like coughing, and he's got some burn marks on him from that fireball that he took. Okay, yeah. So uh, Yoder's going to cast um, Healing Word on him. Not Healing Word, Cure Wounds. Honestly, you should have like a bunch of fucking burns because it was like point blank <laughs> fireball on his But, you know, whatever. You're a fucking... Dude, Yoda, are you using a different mic today? You sound different. Uh, I might be. I switched it, I think, to the laptop one because it was um, gotcha. my. I just, the one was picking up, I think, my breaths or something like that. Okay. Thank you, Todd. Um, let's see. It's one d eight plus five. Right, there we go. You mean one d eight plus fifty? <laughs> That's what I heard. So, Grim, is you, are you still holding your light in one hand? <clears throat> yeah, so I guess I don't have a shield on at the moment. Correct, you do not. So take your shield off so your AC. You should have, like, clipped right, that to your right, belt right, or something. Shit. Hmm? You should have clipped that to your belt or something. Fire! Fire oh, is happening! I don't know, like, the way that would work in the inventory system here what's that or you mean like attach the lantern to my belt like is that even a thing i mean you can like tie a lantern to a belt like what do you mean <laughs> well we, we like also, it would be kind of floppy we also have a whole building that's on fire, fire now so you know yeah you get i suppose that's fire. true so i could just actually but extinguish it and put it away and have my shield on. You could, but that'll be an action on your actual turn since we're an initiative. Oh, well, um, full action? All right. So, Yoder, anything else? Oh, uh, yeah. So, Yoder reaches out to Rom and puts his hand on him and, and says, Stop, drop, and roll, buddy. And then, uh, so... <laughs> let me uh, pay. He, he held him for 12. All right. Um, Grim's still just laughing at him. <laughs> Button for that. Why can't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's why. Thanks, Yoder. Back to 56. Okay, anything else? And I guess he'll 
walk forward to see what he sees. And see if he has a fire. Are you walking through the fire? Uh, oh, this all is on fire in the circle? So there's smoke and fire like within that circle. So I'm just saying you're, you're crossing the threshold into the smoke and into the fire, right? Okay, uh, I guess so. Um, okay. Give If you do, just give me a... I just thought the building was on fire. Constitu so where the orange is at, so these, so I'll, let me set it up for you a little better. So where the orange triangles are at, they're all fire, like yeah. actual fire. Like so, there's smoke bellowing off of that, off the walls. Right. There is some f like, f like flames like coming out a little bit, and they kind of like once they hit the ground, they kind of extinguish, but it's there. So this entire circle is filled with smoke, and there's it's very warm, and there's flames coming off of those walls from the fire. Okay. Path. So it's pretty much on fire. So you can cr you can certainly cross the threshold. I'm just gonna make a roll. All right, your constitution, you said? Give me a constitution, yep. Just got to watch out for the fire. All right, that was a, that was a 13. 13? All right, so with yep. a 13, um, you're able to kind of, like, cover your mouth currently as you're standing within here. You don't take any damage or anything yet, but the smoke and the – it's getting very warm, and the smoke is surrounding you as you step in. Uh, go okay. ahead and give me a perception check uh, as you – as your action to – as you walk in there to see – uh, what you see. All right. That's a nope. With disadvantage Oops. because it's very smoky. Wrong die. So much smoky. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so as you walk through, you see smoke, flames warm around you. Um, you just kind of see these uh, flames protruding off of these walls um, next to you. I'm actually going to... Uh... Oh, excuse me. So yeah, he's, uh, like behind you, like where your back is really warm, there's flames coming off of it. There's smoke. You can kind of make out like the corner of like some other room back here a little bit. You can make out like a door that's up here, like very, like almost because it's very smoky. But other than that, you really don't see much. Okay. Uh, he'll use his last bit of movement to step back a little bit, and then that's okay. his turn. All right. You are now engulfed within the smoke. So you're there at the start of your next turn. You are going to have to make another... Well, you're enveloped in the smoke there, so. Um, all right, we have this guy here. Okay, and then we have, all right. Let's see, let's see. What cool things does Vilgax have? Do you mean, is this my turn? Nope. Oh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> um, all right, how far is this? Perfect. All right, so, Yoda, as you step into the circle, um, you're kind of, like, frantic now. You're, like, did I, you, you thought hopefully he would be there, you could do something, and now you're, like, oh, shit. He's, like, he's not here. Now you're engulfed in this is, uh, um, flames and smoke. You feel a, a presence of almost necrotically presence like kind of on your shoulders uh you are now hexed Ooh. i'm hexed nope yoder's hexed oh gotcha sorry uh, I, is I just heard you say what does vilgax have and then like hex so <laughs> i thought it was me yeah it's not your turn to be hexed i got you, <laughs> um, Ooh, so you i are... see what you did there you are that, and then I don't think you have much for. Um, oh, you did take an extra level. I forgot. Hmm? You extra level. Not extra level, but you multiclassed. Yeah. I went. I forgot. Shapeshift, oh, changeling, and rogue. I forgot about that. That's cool as shit. Um, it doesn't do much right now. <laughs> yet, yet. Oh, here we go. Um, so that was one action that, and then he's going to. Um, okay, so he's going to be also this because he can see you. So I start blasting. Okay. Um, so anyway, I start blasting. Yep. So that is a. What would that be? Oh, a lot. Uh, 17 plus 7 to hit Yoder. That hits, I'm assuming that's a lot. Uh, 17 is my armor class. 17 plus 7 to hit, okay. So, all of a sudden, like, through the smoke, uh, you get 
uh, hit with a uh, arrow. Uh, four, 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 four. I need dice. Where the fuck are my dice? There they are. Um, for six damage. There's hex too if you need then, to know what it does. Yeah. And then hex is an extra d6. <clears throat> and that'd be five necrotic. So you hit you get hit with that arrow um, for six, and then that uh, necrotic energy that encompassed you um, hurts you for five. <laughs> um, and that seemingly came from like in front of you off to the left a little bit. You kind of got the arrow you kind of saw come through the smoke like in that general direction this way. Um so are our characters aware of where the enemy is? Or nope. Is it like... You can't see. I mean, I see the token there, but I, we don't actually see the enemy. Correct. Correct. You don't see him. So anymore. I couldn't make a plan that would just charge right at him, basically. You can charge right through the smoke if you wanted to, but you don't know that he's over here. You just know that this is the this this right here, this spot that I'm pinging, that was the last known spot that you knew he was at. fact, I'm going to do that. And Grim, you're up. All right. Well, I had originally had a plan to charge the Echo in up to here. Certainly because do I it. saw where the token was, because then I would do the second action and be like, oh, now I have my move speed to move up to there. But since I don't technically know he's there, I don't know if I would make that move. Whatever move you want to make. Well, I'm going to try to do it anyway. So, yeah. echo to there. As your echo, you see the echo charge forward through the smoke um, and the flames. He gets put into. Uh, you can kind of see his make out, like where as he goes through the smoke, it's, you can see kind of the outline. It's a little harder to see him, but he is there. He made it to the spot that you wanted him to go. My bonus action is to switch places with it. Okay, you switch places with a bonus action. And from here, can I see? I don't know what's up. My whispers yeah. are still fucked. <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. The first one did, the yo did. Yeah, well, I was trying to reply to Peter, and then I'm just like, oh, well, let's see if it works for anybody else. And then it worked for you, and then I went back to Rom, and it still doesn't work for Rom. Like, I don't know why it's broken. 